lecture is just all about functions. So in functions, I will discuss the two things. First is inverse of function. Second is composite of function, composite functions. Okay. So first I'm going to define inverse of a function. Inverse. How do we find the inverse? Inverse, we have already learned in O level. How do you find the inverse of a function? So I uh, took some example f of x is equal to this, 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 this. This is a quadratic function. So first we will uh, find it how to find the inverse of these function. Okay, look at this, the first example. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. The first step should be, for, uh, because we know that f of x can be written as y, because this f of x is also called as y. So just we um, f of x write y is equal to 2x plus 3. Now the first step. First step is, I always said, replace x and y. It will become x and this will become y, 2y plus 3. This will be step 1. Got it? Step number 2, make y subject. Make y subject. This is step number 2. So how do we make y subject? This was a step 1 replace x and y x and y so step to make y subject so how do we find y as a subject uh, this is x is equal to 2y plus 3 so it will become x minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to y and last of all you can write this is the inverse of a function f inverse of a x is equal to x minus 3 divided by 2 this is the inverse of a function Got it? Yes, sir. Any problem? No, sir. So take some more example. <clears throat> f of x is equal to x minus 4. x minus 4 divided by 3. Mm -hmm. So first we will write y is equal to x minus 4 divided by 3. three. So what is the first step? Uh, replacing x with y. So this is x and this will be y minus 4. What would be the second step? Uh, making y the subject. Making y the subject. 3x plus 4 oh. is equal to y. So the last step, yeah. this is the inverse. Uh, inverse yes. F inverse of x is equal to 3x plus 4. Got it? Yes. Sir. So next is 5 plus 4x over 2x. 5 plus 4x over 2x. So tell me the first step. Uh, uh, first, uh, let me write it y. 5 plus 4x over 2x. Then? Uh, making, replacing x with the y. Then? Making y the subject. Yes. So then the next step, because we have to make y the subject, there are two y's. So first I will multiply 2xy is equal to 5 plus 4y. So how to make y as a subject? First we will shift the, a term containing y on a one side. Okay. We have already learned this thing in O level up. So then y will be common. 2x minus 4 is equal to 5. Five. Then y is equal to 5 over 2x minus 4. Four. Got it? Yes, sir. So then this is the inverse. 5 over 2x minus 4. Any problem? No, sir. No. Now we have the quadratic function. Okay. So I'm going to take x here minus 4x plus 7 x square plus 4x plus 7. Always remember whenever we have to make the, uh, we have to find the inverse of the function, first uh, convert this function into this form, y is equal to x uh, minus h whole square plus k. So uh, what is the name of this form? Completing square form. Okay, we have to make uh, this form of this function quadratic. Without this, inverse is not possible. Okay. This is the first step, especially for quadratic only. We have to make subject, uh, oh, sorry, completing square form, we have to convert it. So how do we convert it? This is y, so we know it, already we learn. x, do you know how to complete this square? Uh, x plus 2 square plus uh, minus 2 square plus 7. Plus 7. x plus 2 minus 4 plus 7 plus 3. Okay. Then the first step start from right here. Replace x and y plus 3. Then make subject y. 
so this will become x minus 3 y plus 2 whole square so um, how to remove this square by taking square root on both sides this will become y plus 2 okay then uh, and whenever we take square root we always put plus minus and y is equal to uh, this 2 will go on other side it will become minus 2 plus minus x minus 3 okay. this is the inverse of quadratic function okay f inverse of x is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of x minus 3 and the one more thing here it um, uh, in function there can be only one sign either positive or negative okay we will discuss this thing especially in another le lecture separate lecture in which we discuss the domain and arrange concepts okay so you have to just learn in this lecture especially how to find the inverse of a function okay this thing just only uh, plus or minus we have a separate session okay so one more example how to find the 3x here minus 12x plus 9 3x square minus 12x plus 9. First, I will write y is equal to 3x square minus 12x plus 9. So you have to tell me how to make the completing square. How to uh, complete it? x is equal to 2. Mm. We have 3 with x square. First, divide 3 on both sides. First, 4x. Then, then um, x minus 2. Whole square minus two square minus four minus, four square, square. minus two square will become four oh, okay, okay. Okay. plus three see. x minus two square minus, minus one. one and last of all we have to multiply on the other side three x minus two minus one into three it will become minus three now the step one will start from right here replace x and y so then make y as a subject, this 3x plus 3, 3 is divide, multiplying, so we will divide this 3, and then y minus 2 whole square. So how to remove square? By taking square root on both sides, and whenever we take square root, we put plus minus. Okay, so this will, y minus 2 is equal to x plus 3 over 3, so plus minus, y is equal to 2 plus minus, I said that we will learn either it is positive or negative in another separate lecture. This is the inverse of quadratic function. Okay, and the last example is 8x minus 2x square plus 4. 8x minus 2x square plus 4. So tell me, what should we do here? Eight x. So, what's this? Eight x only. Okay. Y is equals to. Yes. Y over eight is equals to x. No. First, we will arrange it. X okay. square first, then x and then eight. <coughs> then, completing square y. Over minus two. Yes, minus two. Very good. X square. Minus 4x minus, 4x minus 2, minus two. then <coughs> x x whole minus 2 whole square uh, minus 4 Mi minus 4 minus 2 minus 2 so x minus 2 whole square minus 6 and y minus 2 and in last step y is equal to minus 2 x minus 2 whole square and plus 12 so we can write 12 minus 2 into x minus 2 whole square okay then the first step how to make subject uh, first <coughs> replace this will become x and this will become y so make y as a subject x minus 12 is equal to minus 2 y minus 2 whole square okay then x minus 12 this minus 2 will come on this side it will divide y minus 2 whole square this negative sign can be multiplied above okay. so it can be like this when i multiply negative with this above it will become 12 minus x over 2 y minus 2 whole square then take square root on both sides plus minus square root on both sides y is equal to plus minus 
12 minus x over 2. So this is negative 2. Yes. This, and when we shift on this side, it will become positive. positive. This is our answer. Last of all, you can write f inverse of x is equal to 2 plus minus 12 minus x divided by 2. This is just all about inverse. Got it? Yes. Now we have the composite function. So composite function before defining it, what is composite function? Can you tell me how to find f of 4? We have this is f of x, g of x, and then we have to find f of, uh, dot g of x, f of, into f of x, g into f of x, g into g of x, g into f of 2. First tell me how to find f of 4. How to find f of 4. By substituting the value? Yes, by substituting the value. First we will write f of x, this is equal to 3x plus 4. It means here we have 4 instead of x. So we just put simply f of 4 and I simply give a space for x and then afterward I just write here 4. Got it? So f of 4, 3, 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4, it will be 16. So how do we find f of minus 2? Uh, 3 into yes where is x minus two. we put minus 2 minus 6 plus 4 and this is minus 2 got it yes, so in the same way we find the composite function okay nothing different look how do you find this uh, let me raise this one now we have f dot g of x what is meant by f dot g it means here we have before this here uh, we have f of 4 like this now we have 4 g of x instead of 4 just replace x with g of x in f of x okay first let me uh, tell you a technique how do you find f dot g of x first you have to write this function f of x f of x is equal to 3x plus 4 f dot g of x it means we have to replace 3 into just a space with the function g of x so how we find g of x we have already given this x here minus 6 Okay, so x square minus 6 plus 4. So 3x square minus 18 plus 4. This is called composite function. Minus 14. Next is f into f of x. Look at this f into f of x. First, write this function. This is f of x. f of x, which is 3x plus 4. Okay, then we have to f dot f of x. I will write f dot f of x. It means I have to write 3, just a space for x plus 4. So, um, uh, three yes, 3x three, three three plus 4, the entire function f of x. Okay, okay. Um, just I missed one step. I will write here f of x. And then 3 into 3x plus 4 plus 4 and this will be 9x plus 12 plus 4 so 9x plus 16 this is called composite function then another one g dot f of x g dot f of x so which function I have to write this the first function the very first this is g of x g of x is x square minus 6 then what I have to write g dot this is f of x it means I have to replace x with f of x and this will become whole square minus 6 you got it yes, sir. then what is f of x 3x plus 4 and take square so a square a plus b whole square it will be 9x square plus 2ab 3 4s are 12 and 24 24x and plus 16 minus 6. This is our answer. What? Oh, 10. 10. 10. Yes. 16 minus 6 is equal to 10. Good. And then we have g dot g of x. g dot g of x. So, how do we find it? First, I have to write this g of x. 
which is x square minus 6 then g dot g of x so g of x square minus 6 so what comes here x square minus 6 x square minus 6 whole square minus 6 so a minus b whole square this will become x4 minus 2 into 6 12 x square plus 36 minus 6 <coughs> plus 30 got it yes. this is just all about composite function inverse of function <coughs> of a level do you have any question mm -hmm.